Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to another Gaming on Caffeine live stream and another episode of Compact Claustrophobia. Hey, hello, I hello. Nick. Oh, Hi. Welcome back once again to the wonderful Thanks. world of Compact Claustrophobia. Thanks. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. It's been a while since we've been here, hasn't it? It's been, it's it, been a hot minute, man. It has been a hot minute. I don't know if you noticed this, Nick. Am I wearing a witch hat for you? Uh, I was just about to ask Isaac about this. Mm. Uh, yes, but it's like um, 50% opacity. So I can yeah. kind of see, a, or at least I think it is, I don't know. I can see through it, I think. Oh, mine looks. mine is definitely solid on my end. So I'm not okay, quite sure what you're seeing on your end. Uh, but you don't have one, man. No. Have you been... Is this what you've been up to since the last time we played this, Isaac? Have you been <laughs> practicing the dark arts or something I, like that, man? I like... mean, I'm not sure, man. I, You know, I did have a bit of a weird dream the other night. You know, I saw a few, like, skulls and a few, <laughs> you know, demons. And uh, um... I had such a funny moment the other day. So <laughs> oh, yeah. I have the Sleep Cycle app, right, which, you know, tracks <laughs> hashtag, your sleep. Hashtag ad, yep. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag ad. Oh, I wish... <laughs> I mean, it seems like if you want to pay us, please, <laughs> get in touch. Um, so I was like, um, I went to an, a party on Friday, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I woke up on Was Saturday. this a uh, Halloween-themed party? This was, that was on Saturday. Ah, my Halloween okay, I see. Friday was a separate occasion. All right. Um, and I was listening, usually Sleep Cycle, like, tracks my, if I like, snore or talk or anything like that right and i've never i don't think i've ever sleep talked in my life but um it told me on saturday morning it was like you sleep talked last night i was like what <laughs> and I'm just six in the morning I i'm imagining like, you open the app and it's just you chanting like a demonic ritual <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> it's in, the 31st in, of October. <laughs> is it like latin like you don't even know what yeah it was like semper fi <laughs> Kaikilius Estin Horto. <laughs> <laughs> That's something that only people who studied Latin in the UK will ever get. That's so That's so a, deep. It's a joke for those guys. It's a joke for, for the two of you out there. <laughs> it's just six in the morning, man. I just go. I know. Wow. I know. Right? That loud. I wasn't that loud. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise otherwise i'd be more concerned but that was the first time i ever sleep talked man it was a wow. mad experience and i didn't even know so i actually only found this out yesterday i did lie because it does this thing that it like compiles all of the sounds you make when you sleep mm. into like a 30 second highlight reel oh and I, I didn't even know that this feature existed until yesterday when i was just playing around with it and realized and i heard myself talk in that highlight reel and I was like, right. what the hell? Like, when did I do this? And then I went and searched for it, and there it was, man. So, I mean, spooky things happening, Isaac. We're now yeah. post-Halloween. Um, you um... I didn't carve a pumpkin. Oh, well, I did. I did carve a pumpkin. Oh, I, I'm normally not a big pumpkin carver, yeah, but I carved one. Yeah, did big you? old, oh, uh, big nice old smiley face on it. Yeah, it was. Oh, um, that's cute. I uh, know, right? Thanks. Did you, give it, did you give, uh, <laughs> give it a name? I didn't, Nick. But, you know, if you want to name it, you know, here and now, live on, on stream, like. Yeah. Um, it, man. I think your pumpkin was called. Um, John Rumpelstiltskin. Mm, Isaac. Yeah, he did look like a like a like a John. <laughs> <laughs> they all do, Isaac. They all do. <laughs> uh, uh, what is going on here? So, um, in the last stream, Nick, if you uh, if you meet me in the in the main in the in the atrium, yes. Um, hi, welcome back to Minecraft. By yeah, the this way, is modern Minecraft, everyone. everybody. Um, yeah, <laughs> up inside of this uh, large compact machine at the top, which, by the way, we should rename uh, to like the Energy Hub or something. Um, have you got a better name than the Energy Hub, Nick, that you can, uh, um, that you can give us for our energy-containing cubes? Ooh, it's got. Is this got the nuclear reactor in it? It does. It's got. It? This has got like three reactors in it because oh, it has man. the small nuclear reactor that we made initially. Then it has the bigger nuclear reactor that we made to power the even bigger nuclear reactor that we've set up at the end of the last episode with the electromagnets. And so it has like it's just full of reactors, man. There's reactors all the way down. Um. Ooh, it's like a Russian doll of reactors, man. Yeah. Just call it the, call it the the freaking the Soviet the Soviet <laughs> Energy Core or something like that. 
No? Yeah. Yeah, no, I like it. Soviet yeah? energy coal. We're done. Let's, All right. Let's so if, do if, it. If we enter the, the Soviet energy coal <laughs> real quick. We enter the Soviet, <laughs> the Soviet core. Um, we and, find, Isaac, that we're very, very claustrophobic and trapped. Yes. Uh, we don't really know where we are. And um, there's a large nuclear facility here. Sounds, yeah. uh, sounds very fitting, man. So um, the first room is the new 30,000 hour of reactor that we set up previously. Yes. If you go into the next large compact machine, the one at the yeah. top here, not the yellow one, this is what we were working on at the very end of the last stream. Yeah. We put down this fusion core, we surrounded it with electromagnets, we hooked all of those electromagnets up to redstone energy flux ducts. And so now the idea is that using the 30,000 redstone flux per tick from that new reactor, we should be able to power this fusion core to get this online to produce even more power. And more importantly, Nick, it's also going to allow us to begin making uh, the neutron fluid that we're going to need if we want to get glowstone, which we need to progress with some of the quests mm. in chapter three. Mm, mm. Okay, this sounds very good, Isaac. Uh, quick question. Mm. Is this now fully charged up? Um, no. Okay, so, I was going to say, because I've seen some red, I've seen some green. Yeah, it's, um, it's flickering. So if we back out, we are currently running into a, a slight problem. And that problem is that in the yellow box, we're not actively making LEU-235 fuel, which means that uh, soon our 30K reactor is going to shut down. Um, and also this like 6K reactor in here is not currently working. Um, although I right. may have fixed that like moments ago. Yeah, no, never mind. I have uh, I have resolved this issue, so it's actually oh. completely fine, Nick. The ticket has been resolved. You can uh, close the case. Oh, nice. This guy's acting like freaking human Zendesk out here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. How do you uh, um, how do you feel about like ticketing systems for tech support or any support? Uh, I actually used one recently. Oh, yeah. I had a wireless charger go bad on me, and I, <laughs> I emailed. Go bad. It went evil. <laughs> it went evil. <yeah. laughs> It started flashing at me, Isaac, in the middle of the night. And I was it like, started, oh, it's uh, waking me up. Flashing it's... red, Isaac, and going, uh, uh, uh. You know, a lot of weird things, spooky oh, things wow. happening recently, man. Like, everything's just become possessed. I like to imagine that it started, like, taking power out of your phone on anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it did, Isaac, because when I bloody woke up, it wasn't charged. <laughs> I was fuming. So uh, so I contacted their support, and I was like, this is going to go nowhere, man. I was, mm. It was like some, it's like a Chinese company. I was like, these guys probably, uh, you know, it's going to just be terrible. I'm going to have to send these guys back this charger and pay like £600 for postage mm. uh, and customs and all that. Um, and then they probably won't send me anything back. But no, the ticket went through, Isaac. Oh, wow. They were like, can you take a video of your issue? Took a quick video of my issue and sent it over. Um, and uh, they were like, oh, yeah. Yeah, fair enough, man. Um, <laughs> okay, we'll but... send you a new one. We'll use the address that you well, that you used with your in original Amazon order. I was wow. like, wow, Look that was that. all right. Yeah, nice. So, so you know, ticket went through. I've also had loads of tickets come back recently because uh, you've been I was speeding talking, a lot. I was, I've been, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I like when I do it, Isaac. I like to like give a thumbs up as well to the camera. So <laughs> put it on Instagram. Hold up your ID as well, so they know it's, <laughs> know it's you. <laughs> With my address, send <laughs> ticket here. <laughs> I just like to make it easy for them, you know. Yeah, of course, you know. I mean, you don't you know, it's good hard. enough. I'm gonna get a ticket anyway. I might as well yeah. like the process for them, make their exactly. lives easier. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of tickets come back as well for, from companies that I'm trying to like deregister myself with. Mm. Um, so that's happened. I also experienced recently a a, a WhatsApp-based tech support. Which was very interesting. Like, oh, okay, go on. I had, uh, so I bought a Dyson fan a couple months ago, and that went bad on me too, Isaac. Uh, like, <laughs> right, uh, that okay. one actually was growling at me. That's why wow. I, uh... When you say go bad, I either think, like, evil or, like, like a fruit, like it's decayed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I bought this Dyson fan, and then the next day it was, like, all soft and squidgy yeah, and moldy. Yeah, like and... black as well, and I was like, have, have they sent me a banana? <laughs> I did buy it from Wish.com, <laughs> like, maybe. <laughs> I did think it looked a little bit weird and banana-shaped and small. Um, yeah, it started started making rattling sounds, Isaac, and this thing is positioned right next to my face while I try to go to sleep, so I wasn't mm. very happy about that. Yeah. So sure. I contacted their WhatsApp-based support, uh, which was interesting, and they, they messaged me back, and they're like, hi, yeah, can you send a video of your issue? So I was like, actually, this is quite useful because I can just send it on WhatsApp, and I was going to take this video on my phone anyway. It's very easy. 
Um, and they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, that seems to have been a problem. We'll uh, exchange it for we'll you. fix it. Oh, I yeah. Know. They That's didn't even event. fix it. I was expecting them to say, we're going to take it away for ages and fix yeah, it. Like, yeah. nah, you're all good. We'll they just, just uh, a new one. We'll just swap it for you. So the wow. guy came today and he was like, here's your new one. Uh, have you got the old one? I was like, yeah. Took it away. Nice. So, uh, yeah, I've actually been having good tech support um, I, um, experiences so like, recently, man. I would have hated that, by the way. Like, if they wanted me to use tech support via WhatsApp. That's right. like my worst nightmare. The other day, Nick, I was uh, trying to make a reservation, right, for uh, dinner. Right. At a restaurant. Yes. Okay. And I went to their website, and this website was like, yeah, we are this website. You know, we're this restaurant. We uh, do good food. Come visit us. Come, come, like, eat, come eat at our place. Yeah, yeah come, eat, come eat this. And I'm like, cool. Okay, that's what I want to do. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm on your, your www website, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, then I go down, and it's like, you know, how to, I'm like booking. So it's like click book. You know, freaking just messages, like iMessages, to find out our booking times. And I'm like, no. Oh, no, no, sorry. It was Facebook Messenger, right, oh, that I had God. to use. Yeah. So, like, they had a Facebook. So, so I don't use Facebook, right? And they were like, messaging, call us, text us on Facebook Messenger. So I had to freaking create a Facebook account to, like, a fake one. Like, I don't use Facebook. To, to get to Messenger, to send them a message being like, hey, can I book a table for two at 7 p.m. on Friday? And then they message back and they're like, we have 7.15 or 4.23. Which would you like? I'm like, which do you think I'm like? That's obviously not what I said. But I'm what like, the hell? I'm like, what do you think I want? Obviously, I want the 7.15 time. I'm not going to come three hours earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but then I, <laughs> I book it and they're like, yeah, that's fine. And Some I'm just bot like... the other side <laughs> or something like that. Like, what the hell? Yeah, I'm just like, what in the world? But I hate that. I hate that with the passion. Like, no, it's a good thing I really fair. want to go to this restaurant. If I didn't, I'd have been... That's I'd, I'd have gone elsewhere, man. You know, that's, yeah, I'm actually surprised you went through that effort mm. to, I, like, I would have just gone to a different res, uh, restaurant yeah. at that point, man. Uh, so you've done well there. Thanks. Um, yeah, that's, these guys clearly have never heard of Open Table. Um, mm, yeah. Because, like, that's, or, like, Res Diary. Or like, or any uh, one or of any a of myriad them. of yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like surely it's also not hard to just set something up to forward you a text when they fill out a form, you know, on their website, right? Like that's come on now, Jeez. you know, design my night. Like surely, like is there anything? Yeah, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, anything. So that was that was that was that was horrible. well, that's awful, man. Um, uh, I'm I so know, sorry I'm, to experience that. Thanks, man. Yeah, and no, I appreciate the the concern. You're I welcome, um. <laughs> I also, I don't know how I feel about ticketing systems. On the one hand, like, I never, ever, ever, ever want to talk to somebody on the phone. So, yes. like, uh, from that standpoint, like, ticketing systems are, are obviously kind of great. Uh, on the flip side, though, like, you know, oftentimes it's so much faster if you just talk to somebody on the phone, right? Yeah. Like, you, you try and fill out a ticket, and it's like, what's your issue? And they have, like, a drop down of issues. And your issue is obviously not on there because nobody has ever had the issue you have, right? So you've no. got to click something that's close. And then you click something that's close and then the, the ticketing system's like, okay, thank you. And then you tell us more and you fill it out. And then the person who receives it then gets back to you and is like, oh, that's not our department. You've got to contact so and so. And it's just like, it's, it could be a nightmare, right? Exactly. Exactly. No, 100%. And um, you... So I've actually had this experience too recently. I tried to email some people about something. Um, and... Like, I just did not get an answer back. So I just called them. And they were like, ah, oh. I called them like a day later, right? Because I was like, maybe maybe they're just running a bit late. You know, maybe they're a bit busy. Yeah. And they were like, ah, oh, you should have done this before. Like, come on. They were yeah. like, oh, I'm sorry we haven't emailed you, by the way, because, you know, we should have. But that's kind of weird. But also, yeah, just give us a call. Yeah. And then, like, further on in this process, I was trying to buy a car, right? Mm. And I couldn't freaking like. You were trying um, to buy, like, buy a car like over the internet. <laughs> like, I was trying to buy a car over the. I was ordering oh one, right? I was you were to order a new car one. over the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to order a new car on the oh internet. Goodness. Nick, have you not seen the ads? You would dot com. Have you not seen the ads? You wouldn't download a car. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying do to it, download man. a car, man. <laughs> Maybe I'm outing myself actively on stream. This is actually just all code for, for piracy. <laughs> That's yeah. what he was doing. I was actually just trying to pirate a game and it wasn't working. So I called tech support and asked them why. <laughs> exactly. And I was like, guys, why is, you know, this torrent website not working? Uh. The Pirate Bay. I'm on the Pirate Bay. It's the Pirate Bay. It's not any Pirate Bay. It's the one to go to. And they were. <laughs> uh, and then. And then um, they like this woman like called me back and i was back and forth with her and then like 
<laughs> back the and next forth. day happens. <laughs> and right. you guys are dating now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Start something beautiful, Isaac. <laughs> At that point, you should call people. No, no. Yeah, you never and know then, what's gonna, gonna happen. Exactly. She emailed me the next day, and I replied mm. to the email, and this was on Friday, right? Nothing. Right. Not had anything. And this is now after that, it you, it's kind of this this whole process has taught me. That I also hate calling people. Yeah. I didn't realize I hate calling people mm. until like the last couple of weeks. Cause I've had like, I've set myself like a list of administrative things to do in life, right? In life. In life. Could we yeah. get an example? Um, so one example was I had to like send an estate agent some stuff uh, and it involved calling them. Wait, 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 um, hold on. You made a list of administrative things to do. Oh, just like you just mean like you have to do these things like in like the next, generally just like yeah. in the next week or so. Like it's a to do a to do list. It's a to do list. Oh, yes. right. I thought this was like a, a life goals list. Oh, you, like, you, you, oh, it's, oh no, it wasn't a bucket list. <laughs> like the way the way you'd worded it, it sounded like you had this bucket list of administrative tasks that you've always I've wanted always to do. Always wanted to call contact my estate agent. I thought you were like, I'm, I'm not contacting an estate agent, so I'd love to call one. Let's put that on the. On the administrative tasks <laughs> <now>. bucket list. <laughs> I mean, you know, each to their own, man. Um, okay, okay, okay. So, so yeah, so I had this list, and and quite a lot of these involved. Part of one of them was to get in tech, into tech like, to contact tech support for all these other companies, right? Like with that fan, with that wireless charger. Mm. Like it was a lot of like boring stuff, and I the whole I was just like I hate calling people. It taught me. Yeah. I was like I just hate calling people it was yeah. um it was quite something man um it's, and, it's, yeah. yeah it's horrible it's yeah. worse when they because like I, I mentioned this before i think but for whatever reason like call centers especially feel the need to like process their audio like 19 times yeah. to the point where it's like actually impossible to hear anything that's going on right yeah like yeah. we live in a world where it's possible to make Crystal clear calls. You know, there are adverts everywhere for crystal clear audio quality. And then you call a, a phone, you call like a call center, and they put the on hold music, and it's like, and it's horrible. I'm like, what? It's, how is this? How do you do this? It's like, it's like they VPN the line, right? Like <laughs> yeah. 25 times. <laughs> I think that's it, right? Like, I think there's like, you know, multiple like levels, and everything's going through like compressors and switchboards, and like, you know, trying to minimize like bandwidth use right. so that they can like maximize the number of phones that they can connect to like one phone line connection right yeah. i think that's the thing that's going on there but it's just like why it's horrible why yeah, are you horrible. like this you know and they, even just these days man what gets me is is even just phone calls because mm. i don't know if you if you have this enabled but i on my current phone and on my previous phone i had uh like voice over wi-fi enabled mm. so if i was connected to my wi-fi and my actual like cellular connection was a bit patchy yeah. if someone like called my mobile number or i called someone out it would just use my wi-fi connection yeah but still man f actual phone calls just sound so bad they do yeah if i'm if i know i'm about to have a long call with someone if someone calls me like my mum or like one of my close friends i'm like listen let's i'm gonna i'm gonna call you on whatsapp all right because or like something else because i cannot be bothered for this call quality for yeah. like an hour um so we need to we need to improve man <laughs> we need to like, improve. we need to we need to get better <laughs> We got 5G these days, man. That's true, man. That's like, where's my true. 5G call quality at? No, You're telling yeah. me I can freaking, you know, download a Netflix movie in six milliseconds. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But then when someone calls me, <laughs> exactly. they sound like crap. That's the thing. You know, it's so like I'm in my car, right, driving, and I've got like Spotify playing over, over Bluetooth, and it sounds great, and it's all good. And then like a phone call comes in, uses the same Bluetooth connection, and it sounds like I'm, you know, talking to them through a, a tin can attached to string. It's exactly. horrendous. What's going on? What, what the hell's going Jeez. on here? I can't, I can't freaking car Bluetooth call systems man yeah they make the whole problem worse mm -hmm. they are it's almost like they the car companies have made an effort <laughs> to like make the microphone in the like wherever the microphone is like the steering wheel or above your head or whatever yeah. just as bad as possible yeah because i'm like if someone calls me like while they're driving no matter what they're driving like an older car like a brand new car yeah even like a very quiet like a car freaking tesla model s you know it's still yeah freaking i'll tell you tesla's are actually notoriously bad for this. Wow. And I can tell. 
my uh, mother called me mm. um, from her Tesla recently. And I was like, woman, what are you saying? I can't understand a single word. <laughs> Maybe she was just chatting gibberish, man. Like, it could have been that. <laughs> Maybe I was blocking it out. But I was like, mum, you sound awful. I call me back when you reach home. It was like... I was like, wow. you sound like you're underwater. Are you okay? Like, I Elon, know there's been floods. You need to get your stuff together. Man. Elon, get Jeez. on it, man. What the heck? Send a software update over, bro. Yeah. Uh, that's what I say. Um... <laughs> Quick fix, quick fix. <laughs> oh, oh. Do this. What, are you, uh, what are you working on, by the way, man? Because so, you're playing modern Minecraft if you didn't, uh, if you didn't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I did wonder about that. I'm just looking at the quest book, man. I'm completing, like, these niche quests. That could these little you, quest gaps. Hi. Could I, could I pivot you? Could I grab you by your shoulders and redirect you into a different, like, direction? Yeah, you don't want me to, uh, you want me to throw this poop at a compact machine? Yeah, sure, man. What do you, what do you need? Yeah, so, I mean, speaking of poop, man, I would love for you to upgrade our pooping and duping, uh, machine like a oh, right. injector so that more... we can make the maximum size compact machine right more uh more power more actually no, everything maybe we, maybe we well, i think we've do. upgraded this before we have upgraded it before but i don't think it's at the current so in order to, i don't think it's at the right level so to make the maximum size compact machine which is mm -hmm. a whopping 13 by 13 by 13 oh, yeah. room we need six glitched giant machines and each one of those requires 512 fe per tick and 64,000 millibuckets of sewage. Right now, this can only hold 32,000 millibuckets, and the energy input is small. So energy input hatch, the small one can only do... Oh, no, it can do 512, so that's that's fine. Okay, it's so just it's like the, just this. I think it's just the poop input slot that okay. needs upgrading. Yes. Let's have a look. Fluid. 64,000 capacity. Fluid input hatch. So we need to go from big to huge, oh. Isaac. Oh, that's what I like the sound of that. <laughs> it actually goes further. It goes yeah, from yeah. huge to ludicrous. Yeah. And then to vacuum. Nice. I don't know if that's the correct terminology <laughs> for upgrade from ludicrous, man. Like that you just sounds think? like I'm trying to buy a free kid. I don't know, like a Henry Hoover. Yeah, man. <laughs> maybe Henry Hoover is the epitome of like fluid containment. Isaac. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe that's man. <laughs> all right. Huge fluid input hatch. Oh uh, my! Question as well, Nick. Hi. Uh, to to leave modern Minecraft again for the time being. Of um, course. Have you ever done an escape room, man? Oh, there's been multiple times where I've been close to doing an escape room, but I've never actually done one. <laughs> like you were just close to the building. And you didn't I have to actually. I, didn't walk, <laughs> I have walked past escape rooms like multiple times, and I've been like, ooh. But, and also, there's there's been times when I was at university where we've like been like, shall we do one? And then we mm. were like, yeah, but then never did it. Mm. Um, so no, but I would I would be very up for doing one. Like yeah. if someone said, let's do one, I'd be like, yeah, let's do it. Have oh, you, man? Right. Yeah. So I mean, someone makes a good point, Nick, that this is kind of like an escape room, what we're doing right now, like a That's very true. elaborate escape room, you know, to try and get true. out of the initial uh, three by three cube that we're in. I actually did one uh, just this last uh, week, man. Oh! Yeah. It's my oh. second, I did my second escape room ever. Nick, oh, man, so you've week. done two. How was it, man? Yeah, I mean, I didn't escape. So, <laughs> so <laughs> well, I'm still actually there? still, I'm still there now, yeah. Um, yeah, well, it's a good job you took I your found... stream set up with you, man. You <laughs> I carry it everywhere, thought about man. it. You did I think take, about, uh, you know, that potential. Yeah, yeah, I carry my, my, my PC and my microphone and all of the equipment with me everywhere I go, just in case, you know. Just in case. Like, you never know when... Idea. You never know when an impromptu stream is going to break out, you know? Exactly. So. Tonight, Isaac. Tonight. You, the, sound, the sound... I mean, it's a good job you're in a really small escape room. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm not getting much reverb through. Oh, so man. That's... I carry my uh, acoustic panels as well. With oh, me do you? I go. Your yeah. backpack, right? Oh, yeah, of course. You just slide them out. I carry... Um, I actually drive like a... One of those like sixteen wheeler trucks everywhere that I go. Oh, it's just like yeah, of full. Course. And my so, my recording studio is just in the back of that. And then I could have gone to a good home eyes and got short of your HGVs <laughs> these days. <laughs> uh, ooh, this is mm, ooh, okay. You're right, man. This. So I mean, okay. Um, the problem with this other reactor, because as you did uh, astutely mention, Nick, earlier in the stream, the uh, electromagnets here are kind of flickering red and green. They're not like solid green, which is what you yes. want to see. Um, I think the problem with that, we've talked before about how the flux ducts from thermal expansion work, or thermal dynamics, mm. I guess, technically. Uh, that being that, while this flux duct can only carry a maximum, it can effectively carry an infinite amount through the flux duct, but it can only do 10,000, like, end-to-end, -end, right? I think that's right. Sure, like, on the connection point. 
Yeah, sorry, 9,000 yeah. for this one. Uh, so what we did is we put down, obviously, that's fine here because none of these individual connections require more than 9,000. And then on the other end, if you leave this room, um, we put down like multiple connections over here to make sure that we could carry, you know, 18,000 mm. or whatever. The mm -hmm. trouble is that I think that breaks when you go through a tunnel. Ah, uh, okay. So Because if you come so, back in here, mm. there's one connection that leads <clears throat> out of the room. And so I think that's bottlenecking is like right here to 9,000, right? So right. only 9,000 can get to this connector. So can we use multiple tunnels to bring multiple streams of energy through I in think parallel? So. However, okay. Nick, I've also just made some like cryostabilized oh, nice. oh, that pretty. can carry infinite redstone flux, right? Oh, oh, However, I only have eight of them, which means right. if you leave this room, and, and they need to, those eight. So basically, I'm not going to... I'm going to leave things kind of as they are, but I'm going to replace the duct that goes from this reactor into this cube with cryo ducts, right? Right. Because on the other side, things should maybe be fine. Basically, Nick, I think we just need to move this top large compact machine closer right. to, the, to the reactor. <clears throat> okay. But, like, you don't have to worry about that, man. You can continue to worry about the, the pressure. Group Thanks, man. No, it's been upgraded, man. You're all good. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah, yeah. It was actually quite a, quite an easy upgrade. Um, oh, nice. And I think from this point onwards, you just need a hopper, some modular and, and some buckets to just go to the the vac the maximum one. So it's, uh, it's quite nice, actually. Nice. Uh, so that's good. Um, so I will continue to uh, poop on this compact machine because um, there is a quest for it. Let me do... Da, 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 da. Let's have a look. Where can I do? Oh, I can do that in there. So I think oh. if I just do like this, and then from there, if I do like this, it looks horrendous. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, that it should like maybe work, and the temperature in here should start to go up as energy comes in. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. Potentially. Although I can't help but notice that none of these are green now, so I've seemingly messed something up. Hmm. This is full hmm. on energy, which is interesting. This is unnecessary. Does that work? This should work, right? Energy should be being pulled out there. Although for some reason, there's no energy in these duck. I'm a fool. I'm actually. Oh, no, I'm not a fool. You okay, man? No, no, yeah, I'm not a fool. Are you no, you. You're not a fool. I'm not a fool. Thanks. Are you man. questioning if you're a fool, Isaac? I was questioning if I was a fool. I, and I mean, like. Okay, you are, man. I'm sorry. I, I, yeah, I know. I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know why this is not, like, sucking power. I feel like it should be. And yet. Right. And yet it's not. Uh, but no, I didn't escape this escape room, man. Um, right. Like, so did you have to call, like, the fire services? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, like? yeah. They actually they, they trap you in and lock the door and throw away the key. So if you don't escape, you have to. Uh, <laughs> you have to get. You, uh, like, yeah, it's pretty extreme, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, this was a hardcore escape room, Nick. You know, don't. Oh, no, don't yeah, uh, that's, this is like some Squid Game escape room. Don't man. get it wrong. Like, yeah. you, ain't, you ain't escape. You escape or, or die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this is working. These are filling up. Just. Slowly. Oh, it's that's fine. good. Yeah, nice yeah, 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 yeah. Nice this nice is this is fine. I've, I'm not quite sure why. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. Oh, I'm a silly fool. Okay, no, I understand <laughs> the problem. I understand. The we're on yes now. We're on yes. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the problem. This needs to go here. Look at Nick completing more quests for us. I know. Nice look, special amount, man. This is here fine. We go. This one. This goes here. Oh. This goes. Here. I forgot that we have. Like, um, we have two tunnels coming in, one at the top and one at the bottom, because we've got these two levels, right? Like, there's the uh, because, yes, because there's course. no space around the reactor, we have one energy pipe coming in for the bottom floor and one coming in for the top floor. So, yeah, we are we are good. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. There. Um, it doesn't mean that I should probably move this, though, actually, now that I think about it. I should probably grab this guy, put him here, and then do something like this and like this. And then now that should work, Chet. <laughs> now it should work. And so if I head back in here, hopefully we'll see just like a, a field of green with red roses too. Ooh. Ooh. That's my hope. But also, uh, it's not coming through. <laughs> but no, like I realize, so escape rooms, they're, they're interesting, right? Because you feel, I feel like you need um, a wide variety of people whose minds work in different ways. I was just about to say that. Yes. Yeah. Because you, because there'll be different People need to think differently, I think, to yes. solve different yeah. types of puzzles and challenges in escape rooms. 
hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. Because like the some of the the puzzles are quite like mathy, right? And at that point, right. I'm like, I, this is fine. I can do this, right? Perfect, easy. Let's go. But then other puzzles are like you know visual or like you know mm. you've got to think about things in 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 different ways. And my brain uh, does not do that at all, mm. right? Uh, this should be working. Oh, now it's connected. What the heck? Did I take the tunnel away? I did take the tunnel away. Hold on. If I if I get rid of this, and then let's pick this back up. So over here, this duct is that tunnel's pointing down and everything here is getting power yes perfect over here this one then needs to point up and then you do this and then all of these should be getting power they are perfect all right nick i think we're, we're, we're we are we are good here nice but uh, but yeah you need to work in so many <clears> different ways like the the thing there was like one puzzle that got us completely stumped right and when once the solution is shown it's like oh we're like, idiots. why Why didn't we think of that? Exactly. Yeah. But then, like, at the time when you're looking at it, it's just like, I don't understand. I do not know. You know, I do not understand how this uh, is supposed to mm. work. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And so, Absolutely. yeah, you definitely want to go in with, like, a with like a, a, a wide breadth of, of different uh, different brains, you know, to, to really... For sure, for sure. Really get that, uh, get that down. So, like, what's the procedure then when you can't get out? Is there like a button, or do you have to? Sh well, like so, like obviously, it's, so it's it's timed. You have an hour, right, ah, to, uh, okay. to get out. Um, and so they had like a, a hint system. So they they, they sent you in with an iPad. The iPad had your current time on it, right? right. So we had like an hour, and it would tick down. Uh, and every so often, it'd play horrible sounds like bram, bram, bram. Thirty set, thirty minutes remaining, and you're like mm. start to panic and you know run around and get flustered. But um, but it also had like a little button on it, which was like uh, hints. So each different, uh, at least this is the one that we went to, each different um, like puzzle had like a little QR code -y thing that you could scan with this hint thing. And then you could get like a hint if you wanted one, right? But then there was like a cool down on when you could use that again. Um, so that you could get some little hints towards how like a thing, like a certain puzzle was supposed to be done. Mm. But um, And then there's also like, you know, panic buttons if you want to, fully you right, know, leave right. like if, if you're like i want to like i want to claustrophobic um, or exactly like yeah, exactly yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. but uh, for the most part like when you run out of time someone just comes in and is like uh all right you failed leave <laughs> 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 no, they were like that. they were very nice they uh, they showed us how like the remainder of the room was supposed to be done sure well they sure. asked us first they were like do you want to come back and try this room again or would you like us to just show you how it's done and we were like just show us how it's done and, okay uh, no, that's interesting because this, this place had like eight different rooms we only did one of them right um, right that's, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good time. I would definitely recommend uh, escape rooms if you've got to try them. Yeah, that's really interesting, actually, because something I want to know is, like, um, without giving too much away, what kind of, like, building and location was this escape room in? Because, I ask this because, um, at least here in Birmingham, and I'm pretty sure in places that I've been to in London as well, all the escape rooms that I've seen or walked past, they're in, like, really wacky locations and buildings mm. like they'll be in like warehouses and like yeah. disused car parks vr experiences as well yeah mm -hmm. like it's and then like in and then and then just like in a shopping center as well like it's always <laughs> like not a traditional kind of like outlet building if that makes sense yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. no that was definitely the same with this it was in like this giant like warehouse looking building like mm. like i guess if, you need it if I did not know that it was an escape room, like, um, if someone took me there and I didn't know that it was an escape room building, I would assume that I was going to die. <laughs> 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 I would be, uh, I would be saying, you know, my goodbyes. I'd be texting friends and family. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a good job you knew where you were then, man. It's a good job someone did bash you over the head. <laughs> No, and yeah, you really woke um... up in this in this place. Oh god! It uh, it looked a little um, a, a little bizarre, man. Yeah, a little bizarre, little little sketch. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, okay. So by the way, we need to make so like the the this fusion reactor is now heating up. Um, we need to oh, get nice. to uh, eight thousand uh, kK, aka eight thousand uh, kilokelvin, in order to uh, to like activate. Right now it's at one thousand eight hundred ninety. I don't know if you have my stream open, but it's like slowly but surely going up in temperature. Now that it's getting right. power, once it gets up there, we then need to provide it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you just open this Hi. up, you'll see this uh, temperature bar is, is going up. Mm. When it hits 8,000, it will like enter. It's, it's ready to go, right? Like it's ready okay. to actually begin. Right. Uh, at which point we need to start pumping fuel into this in order for it to work. Mm -hmm. So if you, for example, type in uh, neutron, N-E-U-T-R-O-N. Yeah. And then press U over the neutron fluid. 
Yep. And then, uh, oh no, sorry, just click on the neutron fluid. Don't press you on it. Uh, fusion reactor. That's the one. You'll see there are a bunch of different like fuel combinations that we can put into this reactor yes. that give us neutron fluid. If you go to the second page and then to the third page and then to the fourth page, I think the best... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks think... for guiding me there, Isaac. <laughs> I would have ended up on the sixth page if you didn't. <laughs> I forgot what page and it was now on. if you go to page two, <laughs> and then you go to page three. Oh, you're doing really well. <laughs> Halfway down, there's the the recipe that has two lots of lithium, molten lithium six and molten lithium seven, right? I see that. I see that. Yeah. If you hover over the arrows on any of these, you'll see that they have like a base max power stat. Mm. And you'll see that they are wildly different. Uh, oh, yes. 700 versus... 55,200. 55, yeah, so we're going to go with the lithium one because that produces so much more power. Yeah, um, that, and I'm we, down with that. And I'm pretty sure that if we leave this room and then leave the room that that's in and then head on into... Uh, don't do drugs. Yeah, we've got a cache full of lithium dust thanks to this automated mm. uh, you know, steel pickaxe bashing. Yeah, So okay. I think what we need to do is we need to get an external storage down on that lithium dust, begin exporting that lithium dust to a machine known as the centrifuge. Oh, well, we need to melt it, and then when we get molten lithium, we can break that down in a centrifuge into molten lithium-7 and molten lithium-6, and then we can take right. both of those and pump them directly into the uh, the reactor. So it shouldn't really be too hard for us to uh, to get that reactor, you know, up and running. Yeah, and I mean, that's, that's you know, quite a attainable source of fuel. Yeah, 100%. All things considered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's really not really bad good. at all. Okay, cool. I can, I'll make the centrifuge. Um, okay, I will make the other device. I'll make the other uh, refined storage stuff then. Okay, cool, cool. Um, like the external storage and, and, and whatnot. That should brilliant, be brilliant. Uh, copper, ingot, copper. So... God. Question, mm. man. Escape room have, related. Escape, kind of escape room related. It's what oh, yeah, inspired the question. Mm. Have you ever been to like one of those like um like horror like rooms? Like you go in, right, and then like people jump out and you and try and scare you. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Um, I don't, I don't know what the term have. is for it. Yeah, like I don't know, like a haunted house kind of thing, yeah, but also maybe like a yeah, like exactly. Like, there were one, like I don't know. There were general like quote unquote haunted houses where you walk through and they just play scary music and they've got like animatronics that maybe move better, yeah, like far yeah. enough away to where you... But then there's also like uh, experience where they have like paid actors, right? And you sign a waiver ahead of time and they will like actually like jump out and grab you and exactly. like... Exactly, yeah. in like full makeup and stuff and they'll look, you know, terrifying. And I've never done that, but that sounds cool, man. Yeah, I... Uh, you know, shockingly, I've done that once. Wow. Yeah. Wow, how did you find I, that? I was... I did it. I did it a very long time ago. I think it was... Uh, like 2010 mm. so it was like 11 years ago now uh, i was in london <clears throat> and it was near london bridge and i think it was near halloween time and they've got like that yeah like the, i think it's in like the it's meant to be like you know the you know the tower i think it's not the, it might be the tower of london i can't i can't for life of me remember but it's basically meant to be like haunted right i think it was where like queen mary or someone was locked up for a while or locked people up or something like that so it was meant to be haunted yeah so we went in there and they've turned it into that and it was like it was pretty realistic man yeah like it was good weirdly it didn't shake me up as much as like horror movies did or do because <laughs> i was just like as soon as someone came up to me and it was like Aah! like right it was like a real life jump scare right yeah i was just i just started laughing i'm pretty sure because i was just so aware that it wasn't real it was almost as if the fact that i was experiencing it in real life made it seem less real that is because so... i was experiencing it in real life that's so bizarre like that's, right that's like not how anybody's brain works no, no. <laughs> and my brain's a bit weird i <laughs> gathered <laughs> already like uh we were with family friends and their daughter who was my age at the time who was uh, 12 or something like that mm -hmm. crying like definitely <laughs> i'm pretty sure quite a few people were crying like grown-ass like people I think there's um, some though where like you have to be like 18 to enter, right? Like I think they have like you know, that doesn't extreme me. ones, you know, where you yeah, gotta be like, that doesn't yeah. surprise me. Um, 
kind of mad, right? Yeah, kind of no. mad. I mean, we had to sign a, like a waiver for this uh, escape room that we were in. Like, you know, really? Was, yeah, I guess yeah. if you're like um, claustrophobic, yeah, I mean, that there was, probably there would not be a good time. And you've like, if you have like, if you like panic and like hit your head or something, I don't know. Yeah. What was it against? Was it like against injury? Well, there was definitely there was some against injury, but there was also like, uh, you know, if you break anything, there's like a a minimum twenty pound, maximum uh, hundred pound, like. You oh know, right. Fee to, to fix you know whatever it is you've broken. I see. Uh, Interesting. And they they do let you know ahead of time. They're like you know nothing requires like excessive force. Like you don't have to like you know push anything super right, hard, or twist right. anything, or pull anything like that. Yeah. So you know it, it, it does take a bit of effort to, to break something, right? But, sure, sure. Uh, but yeah, that was mostly interesting. Just, mostly Very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Here we go. Here we go. Do you have that uh, centrifuge? Oh, I got the centrifuge. I got centrifuge. Uh, shall I make the melter as well? I was just working on that. Uh, yes, that would be yeah. Great. Yeah, I just need to grab some nether brick, which is... Is it redstone and lava? It yeah, is, I believe it? so. Yeah. yeah and the grab. lava is in the, uh, the the hell room, right? Yeah, let me go in the hell room. Nice. There okay, lithium is, is all hooked up. Uh, and I have my exporter, so I'm ready to export that when we need to. Um, oh, it's so... Uh, <laughs> We're getting like 19 tunnels, man. Because oh, I've got the external storage down on the lithium, which is in the Don't Do Drugs room. But then we, but then the, the reactor is like 19 levels deep inside of the, the Soviet energy core, right? Right. So we're going to have to refine storage, tunnel into the first cube, and then tunnel into the second cube, and then tunnel into the cube that actually has the reactor in it to make the... Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. That's not a fun ay, time. Ay. That it's is right. not a fun time. Right? We can make it work, man. We can make we it can work. We can make it work, exactly. Right, let I'm me surprised, burn. man. I, I, I feel like you, uh, you're you the kind of person who would have done an escape room, honestly. Yeah, so so do I. I feel like I'm the kind of person. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm quite thinking about it. I'm quite surprised. Maybe I'll... Um, I've got people visiting in a few weeks, and they're the type of people who, who would will, do an escape room. Would do an escape mm. room, yeah. And I'm sure we've got some good ones around here. So yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you, Isaac, in yeah. a month. Right. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I would, uh, we'll, we'll compare experiences. Yeah, I definitely recommend taking more people as well. Sure, not like a like two to three people. More yeah, like well, I, I did it as a as a pair, right? Which is also. Right. Like, but I also I want to call out this uh, escape room because on their website they were like, if this is your first escape room, do one of our like four star. They're like everyone had a difficulty rating, right? They were like do okay. a four star escape room, and I was like, okay, fine. They like some that were five and some that were six. So there were like two four star rooms. And I asked the person, I was like, which one do I do? They were like, let's do the four star one. I'm like, cool, fine, we'll do that. And then we get there, we do it, we don't complete it. And when we go out, we're talking to this guy who works there, and he's like, oh yeah, we actually just redid this one like a month ago, and now it's like the hardest one we have. And I'm like, oh no, hell, man. Well, the hell, <laughs> your website that's needs that's updating. A proper Jeez. bait and switch, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? They've done you that. I mean, it could have just been nice, you know, because we were idiots and didn't <laughs> risk it. <Yeah>. But, <laughs> like, oh yeah, this one's really difficult, you know. But yeah, personal best exactly. time is like four seconds. <laughs> but, oh dear. Um. But, um are we sticking these machines here, Isaac? These uh, new no, 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 no. The uh, machines are going are going deep in the bowels of the Soviet energy department. Okay, excellent. Um, Let's... This here is for. I'm trying to. Oh, oof. Ew. Ooh. Yeah, ooh. Ooh. Mm. I mean, forgive me, Nick. All right. We'll see. We'll see up to out here. I'm just Where like I have to. I have to get the the. I have to get the oh refined storage cable like up to the. Up to the up to the Soviet energy core, and like the only free space is like the top, which is like here. So it's... oh right, so you have to actually click to the top of the. Oh god, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty rough, man. That is pretty rough. And then like once we're in here, then I need to do like this. Make sure that's set to up, and then put this back. God. <laughs> and then in here, we then need to do like this. Set it to south, and then I think that should work. So, are you? Could you come to the uh, to the the reactor fusion core? Uh, yes. Hello. Stream an escape room with Nick. I don't know if anyone would let us stream it, but um, that'd be quite the experience, man. That'd be mad, wouldn't it? Yeah, stream it. It would. Yeah. Um, could you put the melter down? Uh, would you like it just anywhere? Anywhere like, is fine. Okay, I would preferably put it... somewhere near to this. Yeah, <laughs> I'll put it. Somewhere, I somewhere in this room it, would be ideal. I'll put it here so that we can put redstone cable behind it as well. Um, perfect. perfect. Um, so we're going to export lithium directly to this melter. Okay. And if things have been set up correctly, that this exporter should work. It totally does. Look at oh, that beautiful. beautiful. Okay. So then we need to extract from here and, and into the, the centrifuge. 
Yes. So do we need a servo-based system for that? I think we do, don't we? We need a fluid duct. And of course, we don't have any copper. That'd be too easy. That'd be far too easy. Oh, actually, hold on, Isaac. Here you go. I'll put some in the system. I need some earlier. Yeah. Okay. In that case, then, we are good to go. So could you put down the centrifuge? Just like a a block away? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. I mean, (laughs) I'm actually going to move it to here. All right. But I appreciate the effort. That's okay. just so I'd have to make another set so we could do something. Oh, sure, sure, right. sure. So we will server, extract from the melter, over into the centrifuge. Again, make sure the centrifuge is powered like so. And that should start breaking down very slowly but surely. Let me go quickly grab some uh, energy and speed upgrades from the main room. Oh, so this, this molten lithium gets turned into the different types of like lithium fuel. To yes. the six and the seven and all that garbage, and then I guess yeah. we can just void the two we don't need. Uh, I think um, we only get the two if you oh, press. Oh, we only get two. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Molten lithium. Like uh, when you process molten lithium, uh, it turns into molten lithium seven and molten lithium six. So those nice. are the only two that you were uh, that you get. Um, I think we will have to extract these. Like I'll insert these separately. So I think what I'll do is I'll do this. Sure. Disconnect um, these. People are also suggesting: Will these fluid ducts break because we're pushing molten liquid through them. Do we need to harden them up? Maybe? That's something that the Twitch chat would know more than I would. Like, Perhaps. I don't know how hot molten lithium is. Like, I know lava breaks it. it yeah. I guess it depends whether or not the, the like, nuclear craft has coded has molten coded lithium to be in, hot. Like a temperature, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Ooh, I, I mean, we'll find out if there's, ca- if there's no cables here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> in, like, we will you know, find 20 that minutes. <laughs> okay. And then we'll do the same here, I guess, just in case void excess. All right. So then uh, servo. Let me make one more <coughs> servo here. Also, by the way, is your mute button not working, man? Or are you just giving up on oh, no, the Oh, no, sorry. Cuffs? I was just uh, sorry. Yeah, no, I was just giving it a... Uh, I do it subconsciously these days, man. I've, uh, my throat is, is not having a good time. <laughs> Okay, so you'll see in here that we do have uh, some molten lithium 6 and 7 now. That's all good. And the temperature is rising. We're over halfway there. Excellent. Um, but yes, yeah, so I think basically, Nick, we just have to wait now for this. To go know, to the top. To get up to, to, the, to the max, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so how long ago... Two questions. Mm. Question one. How long ago did we start turning this on? Like how many minutes ago? Do you? Oh, reckon? I don't know. Maybe like 10. Okay. Like, it was and when I was putting down these cryoducts. You know, yeah, I yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, how many probably about ago. 10 then, actually. So, that should be quite good timing. Um, question two. Does this temperature start increasing at a faster or slower rate as the temperature goes up? Or is it just constant that, throughout the heating up of this? I think it is constant. Because I don't think, unless I'm mistaken, that Kelvin is like a logarithmic temperature scale i think it's a linear temperature no, yes. scale i think so like something too. like celsius which is not linear right no no like 20 degrees is not twice as hot as no, 10 no, degrees no. not not in terms of the um like in energy. terms of like the scale in terms of like does this reactor decide to heat up quicker like you know like how, yeah, yeah you know what i'm seeing you know what i mean, you know I, what I, I, mean. I, I yes i believe so Okay. All right. <laughs> but I, I think it's linear. But then okay. again, I do not know, Nick. <laughs> it's, All right. It's the core. All right. Answer. All right. I'll leave you um, alone now. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think it's constant. Yeah. Um. So. 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 Yeah. I think this is fine. Okay. I think we do have to turn it on with like a lever once it's fully uh, powered uh, okay, up. Okay. Right. Um, sure. And these reactors like can blow up. Um, <laughs> I think I, I, I think I do. I do know that actually because I'm pretty sure the last time we did this, we blew it up like deliberately, or right. maybe it actually blew up in our faces, like one of the two. Yeah, maybe. Um, We're being told by Twitch chat that if we leave it like this, it will explode. I don't think that's the case. <laughs> like, um, um <laughs> please, please elaborate. Then, please. Um. Temperature's not linear? It's not, right? Like, so, like, um, Celsius is is not a linear scale. No, no, yeah, that's... Like, yeah, tw- 20, de- 20 degrees Celsius is not twice as hot as 10 degrees Celsius. No, like, it's no, a lot no, no, no. It's hotter, quite, I think? quite a bit hotter, yeah. Yeah, I believe so. It's like a logarithmic scale, so it gets hotter faster as you go up. Um, but anyway, it's not like it matters at all no. um, <laughs> in the real world. No. So, yeah, I think this is kind of fine, because I'm pretty sure that when you turn it on, it starts to um, it starts to heat up. Yeah. 
we might need coolers. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think an active fluid cooler might be what we need. Pump coolant into this block to cool down fission and fusion reactors must be placed in a fission structure or on the diagonals of the fusion ring. If you used to cool a fission reactor, the requirements for each fluid type are the same as passive coolant. So basically, once we pass this next stage, I don't think that I don't think it's gonna blow up when we hit 8,000 because mm. Wait, 20 degrees is twice as hot energy wise? I don't think it is. I mean, I could be wrong on this. I've not looked into it, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Anyway, um, if this gets to its max temperature, I think we still have to turn it on with the lever before it actually starts doing anything. Okay. So I think we're fine, but then I'm pretty sure it should give us numbers that then we can work with. Like it'll give us like a temperature, like a how much heat it's going to emit. Oh. Oh, those are the pipes, Isaac. <laughs> those are the pipes. Okay, that, that, <laughs> that's, that terrified me. That was, I literally, <laughs> that terrified me and I saw what it was. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, is it blowing up everywhere? <laughs> that terrified me because I thought it was the reactor. I thought the yeah, reactor had started yeah, to blow same. up and I was At like. first, holy crap. Okay, well, I'll make cars with fluid ducts. That's yeah. Fine. Yikes. Um, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> So what was that about active cooling to stop this reactor from blowing up, Isaac? Um, uh, yeah, so like I think it needs, we can put on an active cooler that we then put water into in order sure. to, uh, to get it going. Um, could you, Nick, make me like 20 active fluid coolers? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, two seconds. Given that we don't have long left in today's uh, episode, what I'm going to do, I'm going to like turn off this reactor so we are going to lose this like you know the, the uh, 4600 4, yeah, exactly yeah, okay. yeah however what i'll do before the next stream is i'll like turn this on ahead like, of time so it's preheat close it. sure. exactly i'll preheat the oven nick make sure Beautiful. that it's all good to go you do you preheat your oven a lot yes yes i do to the point where i was so aware of how much energy i was wasting preheating the oven that i use an air fryer now for all oven related things Right. Exclusively. So there's no, I don't preheat that. Uh, but yes, the answer is yes, basically. Oh, wow. I'm, see, I'm the exact opposite. I always forget to preheat the oven. And so, like, oh. I'll get to the end of the recipe and I'll just be like, you know, now put it in your oven that's preheated. And I'm like, okay, I just leave see, it a few extra minutes and it's kind of fine. You know? I love, I love like crispy things, Isaac. <laughs> Could you say crispy again in exactly the same way? Crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the replication there? <laughs> I loved it, on. man. It was fantastic. Oh, good, yeah. man. <laughs> I'll keep it up. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Like, I I love crispy and overcooked things as well. Really? Yeah. Like the game? Apart from fish. Mm, Apart okay. from fish. Yeah. So, freaking, I preheat that oven, man. If it, yeah. if it makes it crispier, if it cooks it more, that's, that oven's getting preheated, bro. When we say crispy, are we talking like higher resolution? Oh yeah, of course, of course. I only watch my oven in 8K. Oh honestly. wow! <laughs> yeah, none of that, you know, HD ready. Do you remember when TVs were HD ready? Yeah, man. You still see it be? sometimes, man. You'll go out and they'll be like, "This is a HD ready TV," and you're like, "I freaking hope it is, man. That's like yeah. 720p." <laughs> exactly. Jeez. Oh man. Yeah, it's um, that's not that's HD not the brag you think it is, guys. Like, yeah, like, come on. <laughs> Come on, TV companies. We yeah, play that. Jeez. How long before you get an 8K to spawn your oven, man? <laughs> I, put, I bet your Samsung's probably already doing it, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, does 8, your oven 8K, have one of those, like... 8K fake cooking food. Instead of having a window on the front, <laughs> Isaac, they've probably got a screen that, that shows, shows you, you, and it's got a camera inside, Isaac. Wow. So, and it, it takes the image and brightens it up so you can really see how your food's cooking I was the thinking, display attached to it, Isaac. I was just thinking of like, my oven's got like a little, like just clock on it. Right? Oh yeah, and that, and that as well. <laughs> I want that to be super high. I want that to be like a retina display, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. That's what I want. Yeah. I mean, oh, I'm that. sure that exists too right now, man. 8K like, knowing... Super Retina HDR yeah, like... <laughs> oven time. Oven, <laughs> oven clock. <laughs> oven clock. <laughs> 
I mean, oh, I want to be able to, I want like your microwave. I want to be able to get so close to that microwave display that I, and I still can't see the pixels. So I practically, I, I practically want to be like pressing against the Faraday cage. You know, <laughs> I want to be like one micrometer from the very thing that's separating me and brain tumors, <laughs> it's just so I can see, still see no pixels when I'm looking at that microwave timer, man. Oh, that's what that's what I want. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. dear! Here this is go. uh, this is going. What is it you're uh, making? Uh, your uh, your active fluid coolers. I oh okay. Here How hard those to to make? Uh, they are, these are quite these are quite. Easy. I've almost got all of them. I've already got thirteen. Nice. I just need some copper to get the rest. Okay. Uh, so let me just like whip that up. Like here we go. Right all now. Right. Uh, Beautiful. All right. So yeah, oh, next no, time no. in here. Uh, I'll figure out how the coolers work <laughs> between streams. I've done this cool. before, but I've completely forgotten. Um, we sure. are going to need to make a few of those unlimited water sources again, for sure, so we can, like, fuel the coolers. Right. Uh, I think you can put, like, different coolant fluids in. Like, we could use, like, cryothium if we wanted to. Uh, but I think water's going to be easiest, so we can make some unlimited water sources, pull from those into the active coolers, and then if we have enough of those down, that should uh, balance out uh, the, you know, reactor's heat emittance so that we can actually just like produce a staggering amount of power get the neutron fluid we can then process that neutron fluid in like a neutron separator or something mm -hmm. uh, in a neutron it's called a neutron irradiator we can use that to process the neutron fluid into energized glowstone and uh, molten potassium hydroxide uh, the energized Ooh. glowstone we can use of course uh, in uh, for all kinds of stuff but we m mainly we're going to use it to make uh, to make glowstone beautiful beautiful i've got your uh, your things are in the system isaac you're active your active coolers. Beautiful your, your, beautiful. your your heat sinks. They're all in there, man. They're all nice. in there. Nice. Might need uh, more than twenty, I'm not sure, but I've just given like I threw that out as a ballpark right, okay. number. All like right, I say, I'll figure it out when we know what we're making. Uh, yeah, for now yeah, though, yeah. Nick, at mm. least we are out of time in our complex claustrophobic space. And so Nick and I are gonna take a quick three minute break and when we come back, guys, we're gonna play some uh, satisfactory update five. Woohoo, it's finally out! Yeah. See you in a second. Be right back.